Hello guys, so welcome to Trudy Home and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys something very interesting, okay? Alright, so I'll be showing you guys how to model a container house like this, container finished, okay? Container building like this. So let's proceed without wasting much of your time. First of all, you need to get the shape of that building, okay? Get the shape of the building first before you proceed with the finishes. And then if you check very well, I didn't close this down, I intentionally leave it down. Um, allowed it to be this open so you can see the inside okay it's kind of padded right it's padded so let's proceed on how to do this so first of all like i said before we need to get the plan first before we can proceed so now this is the ship i actually drew right so use your um wall tool okay click on the wall and then that wall is going to be the the padding material so i made it 20 you can decide to make it this depending on how thick you want that particular um thickness to be so let's just go with 25 i see 25 um is cool and then for the color you can decide the color you want you want it black ash any color let's go with this one okay let's go with this one and then now let's draw something okay let's say three meters oh this is 300 so let's say three meters by three meters why am i typing 300 so let's go with three meters again okay by uh, let's say two meters by uh, let's say another two meters okay now let's join everything together okay Hold down your shift key, alright. So let's trace out this particular line, and then from here, let's join everything. You can see once you're drawing, okay, make sure you follow. If you're starting clockwise, make sure it's clockwise, and if you're going anti clockwise, make sure it's anti clockwise because we want this blue line. You can see the blue line outside the external blue line. I want everything to be together once I click on those lines. You can see all the blue lines are outside, okay, are outside. If your if yours are inside, okay, I think you should just draw them outside. It's better that way. And then now let's insert our doors first before we can proceed with the wall finish. Okay, so now pick your door. Um, I think I have one little settings here. Yeah, we have one here. And um, let's add a window this side. Um, let's see a window here. A window here okay window here window here let's take our 3d and see what we have so you can see first of all you need to get that shape like this all right once you have it like this before you can proceed with the finish that you want okay be it wall finish or um, normal container finish so if you're designing a container building get the shape of the building first before we proceed with that all right so now let's continue how do we apply this um vertical finish now all right this rib finish on this wall okay you can see the wall thickness is very very small actually because this is like the internal padding okay so how do we activate this kind of thing here what you need to do is make sure you're always on floor plan before you start okay be on floor plan click on the walls hold down your shift key and select all the walls okay select all the walls select all the walls like I said in our previous video, if you want to work on any wall, make sure it's always on floor view, okay? Floor plan, floor plan view. If it's on floor plan view, you're not going to see this um this this wall covering is not going to be activated, okay? It's not going to be activated. For instance, let's say I click on these walls like this, okay? And I want to activate that particular wall covering. You can see it's not activated, okay? You can see it's not activated. So well, once you select everything from plan view, okay, from your plan view, you're going to see that it's actually activated. Covering, look at the wall covering is activated, okay. Now, this is where you, for the settings, I actually explained a little bit on this part, okay. But let me just, you know, for the sake of those have, when they have not watched the other tutorial, let me just, you know, recap on that. So once you click on this split, this split cladding, this one is showing no split. While this one is showing blue openings only. So 
it is only when you have where you have openings that you have this particular finish below it why this one is above this one is below and above them by the side will just be there so i feel like this one since based on what we're working on we want everything to be covered like this so we we'll just select no split right and then now this is the particular um uh, material we're using. this one is called ripped material so we're making use of this ripped material if you click on the rip on this um profile you'll see different shapes we have the weather board this one is weather board this one is actually like wood okay all these um finished buildings that um we finished with wood just like what you're seeing here this one is wood and if you don't want this one since it's a container we're working on a container building um let's just go with this ripped okay for the settings um a is 37 b is 70 a is actually the the, the thickness from here to here and then the b the distance the opening distance you can see from the dimension you can see from the diagram here so it's 70 and then the c is actually the top which is 40 this one is 40 and the distance that is d from d from here to this other one is 150 and then our e check where the e is that's the opening from the wall to this side is 20. this is how it is so these are just the little settings we need and then from here you can change the material to any material of your choice if you want it to be blue color want it to be black you want it anyhow you want that particular material to look like this is where you change it so should we go with um plastic laminated let's go with this one and see how it looks like and then there's something you need to note but i'll come back here and show you but let's just do something so you see what i'm talking about so click on ok once you click on ok you are see what you're seeing here is the padding okay is that particular um, material we selected so we'll drag it all the way to this um blue line and click okay automatically everything will will be um, activated once you check your 3d you can see it on your 3d but there's a bit difference which is i actually did it intentional so you can actually adjust it anytime you want to work on yours too because i'll be showing you the method on how to do that so these ones are um are actually horizontal okay but why this one is vertical this one is vertical so if you feel like i don't like it um horizontal i don't like it I want it to be vertical like this based on how you want it just click on this hold on your shift key select everything okay rotate and select everything select everything select everything okay select everything and um plus this one then now click on setting dialogs you can see something here you can see something here which is um the the cladding orientation okay change it to 90 90 degrees once you change it to 90 degrees and you click ok everything is going to turn automatically to this side so to the vertical so you can see we have the vertical one now okay you can see it's vertical now all right it's vertical now all right 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 so now let's go ahead and roof this particular building so you can decide to use um okay for the roofing this i actually use slab i use slab from here that's from here to this side you know let's remove it from let's move it from um rectangular so we can easily pick from here to this side and from this side to this side from this side to this side okay and to this side and to this side so now click on this lab click on this blue line click on this um offset all edge type in 300 or 400 depends on how wide you want it to be and then let's quickly roof this one by selecting our roof plan um our roof tool and then um let's still change it from rectangular to this one which is polygonal okay this one which is polygonal and um let's draw out our roof shape okay to this side to this side and to this side so we have our roof now and then yeah it's coming out well and then let's click on this roof click on ci2 under ci2 go to covering select roof covering based on the setting that i've done before let me read out the settings for you you can see the a here i'm using rip 
it's actually the same material with the material we use on that particular wall but this one is for the roof okay for the a a is this distance that the the, the, the greater distance okay the greater plus one of the ridge so yeah is it really rich so the gutter and this particular um this one you're seeing this deeper you're seeing all together is 150 and then our b is 30 c is 25 d is 45 and e is 40. so this just the settings is still on that read and then i'll click on ok and then boom everything is just out so you can see we are done with the container um building okay we're done with the container building and it came out very very fine you check inside you can see the container is well padded and it's looking beautiful so thank you for your time and um if you find the video helpful please do well to subscribe and then share if you have any question drop it on the comment section i'll attend to you guys please don't forget to like and don't forget to share so see you on the next tutorial